Good morning, Edna Keep here for Mindset Monday. Uh, so as I mentioned, uh, we're going to try something new here. Uh, I've been working on mindset for a lot of years because I honestly believe that 90% of your success will come from mindset. Uh, I, I did a lot of training under Jim Rohn, who's deceased now, but very, very good mentor. And he used to say, if you work harder on yourself than you do on your job, you will be healthy, wealthy, and wise. Um, and that's what I want for you. I know that's what uh, we're always working towards. Uh, we don't want to be wealthy and sick. Uh, we we want to get to be better and better people all the time. So I think that it's so important. And just recently, we actually spent three days at a mindset retreat. And it was so powerful. You know, I've studied uh, mindset for many, many years, but I've never sat through a full three days of mindset retreat. And they were long days. And it was, it was amazing. I took 10 team members or 10 people from my mastermind with me. And they said too, like their minds just expanded out to here. Uh, they feel like they take up more room uh, in the world than they did before, which I think is such a powerful way to think. Um, and they also feel like they're just meant to do so much more. Um, I think one of the things that people do is they think too small. Uh, they, they're they scared uh, because that's what we're trained. You know, don't get too big for your britches, right? Who's heard that one before? Uh, it, you know, wealth is not all it's cut out to be. Well, I have news for you. Yes, it is and more. Um, so, uh, you know, and, and there's nothing wrong with going after wealth. Uh, I've heard people say before, well, I'd, I'd rather... Um, I love my family or, or make stupid comments like that and it's like really you think wealthy people don't love their family wealthy people have more time to spend with their family than the average Joe uh, we don't have to get uh, babysitters on an ongoing basis to look after our kids from seven in the morning till five at night and spend two hours with them. so it, it's it's uh, wealth is freeing in so many different ways so if it's something that you're searching for uh, that's one of the things that I'm going to focus on is getting you, uh, getting your money mindset in the right place. Um, so uh, one of the things that um, I'm going to talk about, and this this is actually kind of cool. I got this quote from Thomas Edison, and it says, "Genius is one percent inspiration and ninety nine percent perspiration." Accordingly, a genius is often merely a talented person who did all their homework. So again, it's, it's, it's about growing yourself as a person. So um, some of the, I think some of the biggest lessons I've learned on mindset, it, one, of, one of the things that's really made a difference for me is spend some time meditating every day. Uh, it, it's so nice to get your mind focused on what you actually want to accomplish. And another is gratitude. Those are mindset things. If you are already grateful uh, for what you have, you can get more. If you're not grateful for what you have, uh, less and less. Uh, it's like the universe is not going to give you any more if you can't handle uh, and appreciate what you already have. Um, now, something I was reading just recently that totally made a lot of sense. Uh, they, they've done a lot of study uh, on, the, on the science of the brain and how the brain works. And, you know, it's automatic for people to think a certain way. So if, you, if your uh, first thought uh, when you hear stuff like this is, oh, BS, that's for you, not for me, or that's for other people and not for me, that's because you've got these neural pathways in your brain that are very close together because that's always what you've thought. So when that fires between the spaces very quick, you don't even really think about it. It's like immediate happens so fast that if you don't even pay attention, you don't even realize that was the first thought that you had. So watch that for yourself. What are some of the first things that come to your mind when you hear that kind of stuff? Uh, and, and a lot of it is because it's been ingrained into our brain since we were a tiny little person. And, and don't blame your parents because guess what? It was ingrained into them too. So if you want to do something different, 
you're, you're the one who has to make the change. So um, what analogy I heard was, uh, you know, if, you're, if there's two people uh, throwing a ball back and forth between each other and they're 10 feet apart, uh, the, the ball goes a lot quicker than if you're 100 feet apart. Uh, makes sense? So when, when you're thinking, uh, it's the same thing. Whatever we're trained on or however we thought for the most of our lives, it's continuous. You know, that path is built stronger and stronger every day. Now, if we start thinking differently and we start thinking about something that doesn't fit what we vision for ourselves right now. So you want to own um, an apartment building by the end of the year, but you've never even allowed yourself to think about getting a rental property before. Well, you know what? Those neural pathways are a little further apart. So you've got to train your brain and be thinking about it every single day till eventually those neural pathways get closer together. Does that make sense? I hope that makes sense to you because it is a science. That is how you retrain your brain. It's not pie in the sky. It's not all woo woo like I used to think. Um, and, and you know, uh, Christians have got it right for years, like pray, and, and I'm not just saying just Christians, but religious people have had it for, right for years. Pray, be grateful, uh, think only about what you want, not about what you don't want. Uh, the more we concentrate on our reality, and, and that's a, something people will say to you, well, the reality is I'm broke. Well, you know what? The reality is that it doesn't have to be that way. And you can start building that, like right now, that neural pathway that says, I'm broke, I'm broke, I'm broke, I can't afford anything, I can't afford to do this, I can't afford to do that, I can't afford to do anything, I'm not good with money, my parents weren't good with money, none of us are good with money. You know, those pathways are short now. But if you start thinking, you know what, if other people can own an apartment building with other people's money, why can't I? And it's like I said, it's a far stretch now, right? But you just keep thinking that. And you hang around with people who've done it. And then those neural pathways get shorter and shorter. That's how you train your brain. So keep that in mind. Study some mindset stuff. Join me every Monday morning because we're going to get more and more into this stuff. And you know, if you didn't know this before, don't beat yourself up because a lot of this science is new. And they've been studying it for years, but a lot of it, we've, we've got more knowledge about the brain in the last five years than the whole prior uh, uh, history ever, ever. So you're learning a lot of stuff. Uh, and it's cutting edge stuff. So, you know, stuff that's only been around for five years, you're going to be one of the people learning it. Okay, so what else do we got here? So, um... Uh, like I said, with the three-day training that we went through, it was pretty amazing on uh, on so, some of the things like the mantras you should say to yourself each day. Uh, the the um, they call call them goal cards, and, and you know I've written on goal cards for years and years, and I'm actually going to show you one of the newest ones that I just wrote out if I can find it here. My desk gets to be quite a mess sometimes when I'm doing stuff, but. Um, one of the ones that I wrote out, and it's something that I'm going to be reading to myself every night. I think, I believe I was told five times you read this every night. And this is something again new, but it's just something I changed. So I wrote, I help hundreds of people invest in real estate with other people's money. Those people help hundreds more. I'm creating a movement of real estate millionaires, people helping people right here at home. So that's that's pretty powerful concept because uh, you know what? I'm going to go a lot bigger. I'm going to uh, affect a lot more people this year. I've decided uh, I'm done with playing small. I am 